the Ellen Valley Dam Scheme was developed in the 19th century following rapid growth of the population of Birmingham in England due to the Industrial Revolution. The city's expansion resulted in regular outbreaks of waterborne diseases and major epidemics such as typhoid, cholera and dysentery because of the lack of clean water. In 1892, the British government passed the Birmingham Water Corporation Water Act, allowing the council to effect compulsory purchase of the total water catchment area of the Elham and Clarewind Valleys in Mid Wales. The Act gave Birmingham powers to move more than 100 people living in the Elham Valley. All the buildings were demolished. These included three major houses, two of which had links with the English Romantic poet Percy Shelley, farms, a school and a church. Work began to construct the reservoirs the following year in 1893. Due to the height above sea level of the Ellen Valley, water would be fed to Birmingham via a 116 kilometres, 72 mile pipeline that employed a gravity feed with a gradient of 1 in 2,300. The schedule for the project was to build the four lower Ellen Valley dams first. The Clearwyn would be built later. Work was expected to begin in 1939 but was delayed by the Second World War. It was completed in 1952. The upper dam is seen here at Craig Gock and holds a water capacity of 9,220 megalitre capacity. The largest reservoir in the Ellen Valley Water overspills this dam as seen here during heavy rainfall. It also has a hydroelectric scheme underneath the dam. This is one of the four main dams and reservoirs constructed between 1893 and 1904 in the Ellen Valley with adjoining Clearwyn Reservoir constructed between 1946 and 1952 with a total capacity of nearly 100,000 megalitres. In the early 1970s it was proposed that this Craig Gock Reservoir should be substantially increased in size with a new and higher downstream dam together with another dam to the northwest impounding water that would otherwise have flowed down the Yestwith Valley. This scheme would have created a huge reservoir dwarfing all others in mid Wales and flooding miles of wild upland valleys. The proposals were eventually abandoned in the face of reducing projections for industrial water demand and an increasing awareness of environmental issues that such an expansion might have created. 